as we get into the word of the Lord, we're going to read. God's word is quick and powerful. God's word is sharper than any two-edged sword. When you read God's word, God only attend to his word because he look for his word and he grabs his word. So we shall always rely and stand in God's promises. God's promises is his word. Praise God. This morning, we'll be reading together Psalm 61. Psalm 61. We'll be reading this morning. We'll cry out to the Lord this morning. We're going to ask him to attend to our prayer. Hallelujah. Because there is none like him. He's God Almighty. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's read Psalm 61 together this morning. I am reading from the um, King James Version. Praise God. Psalm 61. Let's read together. Hear my cry, O God. Attend unto my prayer. From the ends of the earth will I cry unto thee. When my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than high. For there has been a shelter for me and a strong tower from the enemy. I will abide in thy tabernacle forever. I will trust in the covert of thy wings, Sila. For thou, O God, has heard my vows. That has given me the heritage of those who fear thy name. Thou will prolong the king's life and his years as many generations. He shall abide before God forever. O oh, prepare mercy and truth, which may preserve him. So will I sing praise unto thy name forever, that I may daily perform my vows in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Verses 2 it says. Lord, for thou hast been a shelter for me and a strong tower from the enemy. Amen. This is the verse we're going to stand on this one. In other words, God has been a shelter for you, a refuge, a strong tower, a strong tower, a refuge and for, from the adversity, from the enemy come to destroy you. God has set a standard to fight your battle. Yea, though we walk to the valley of shadow of death, God said, we'll fear no evil. If God is your strong tower, is your refuge, so no need to fear this morning. No matter what's going on, no matter what distraction, what's happening in your life, in your family, knowing that God is your refuge. God is your rock. God is your strength. God is your deliverer. No matter what you're about to face this week, we're going to put it in God's hand because God is going to bring you forth. God will give you favor. God will fight your battle. Many of us don't know what we're going to do this week, what's going to happen, but let's trust God. Let's stand in God's promises. When you stand in God's promises, when you stand in God's word, God said, my word shall never return to him void. So no matter what you're facing this week, my brother and my sister, no matter what you, you have an appointment, you, you need a job, you can pay your bill, you're sick, just stand in God's word. Say what God say about you. God said you are blessed. God said he will never leave you nor forsake you. God said you are a strong tower. He is your strong tower. He is your shelter. He is your, he is your refuge. In a time of trouble, when the enemy come to attack you, he'll set a standard. He will fight your battle. So who can fight against you if God is for you? If God is for you, who can be against you? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We serve a mighty God. What a mighty God we serve. The angels bow before us. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for your presence. Thank you for your power. Thank you for your word today. Amen. 